today's video we're gonna talk about the kitchen layout so in this video guys i'm gonna illustrate for you the basic types of kitchen layout um, they can be readily adapt to various structural or special situation and they also they all based on a work triangle that connect the three major kitchen centers so the work triangle is um equilateral triangle so you have to respect the norm equilateral triangle and the isocell triangle and the white triangle so um you guys if you don't know the triangle you can look at them up on google and yeah so let me illustrate for you the the part so i'm gonna illustrate for you um the centers so there's three major centers um the first one is refrigerator center refrigerator center and preparation center and the second part is the sex center and cleaning center and the third one the last one is the cooking center and the serving center so those are the three major part the three major centers that we have to know before we build um, the layout of a kitchen so first of all i'm gonna I'm not gonna stay. I'm not gonna enumerate all the shape, all the shape that uh, of the kitchen. So I'm gonna illustrate some for you. Um, the one that they usually do in in a house or industrial building. So the first one is parallel shape. Um, the parallel shape is like that. So. In the parallel shape, we have to respect the the space that they ask because we, we know we live by a code. So we architect, we live by a code. So we have to respect the space. So they allow us to, to do the space of four feet. So we have to respect it again. So this space is supposed to be four feet. So let's say it's let's put the part so we got the three major centers so let's put the centers so let's say here we got the b center the the b center is the sink center and cleaning center and let's say here we got um, the a and c center is so that here we got the a center you got an a center and here we got the B center and here we got the C center is the cooking and prep center so we we got all the space here to use in the, our kitchen so as you can see people can move better in the space so it's easier for people to move and they will they will know where each thing is because it's not difficult for people to move in this space so that's why that's now we can form the triangle so we got another shape that i want you guys to know it's the in this shape we didn't we didn't form the triangle any triangle so in this shape we use this shape uh, i'm sorry we use this shape for small space and studio so in this shape we just got a line so all the three major centers are aligned together so let's 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 do it that one called the long wall shape it's a long wall shape it's a long form so let's say we put the sink and cleaning center in the middle because it's easier for us to clean the two part together and the cleaning center in the middle and let's say we put the refrigerator in this part and let's say we put the cooking center and serving center in this part so we got our three space is a b c they form a line so those 
this in this in this particular shape um, we don't have a triangle so also again don't 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 forget to allow a space between the um the counter and the wall don't forget to allow the four feet minimum this is a four feet minimum space this is uh as we know we as architect we live by code so we have to respect the code so the other shape that i got for you guys the basic shape it's a basic shape is the u shape this is the u shape layout for the kitchen so it's it's like uh it's easy to build so most of houses got the u shape layout for the kitchen the big housing so yeah and in the u shape let's say we put the sink part the sink center here and we put the cooking center right there and we put the refrigerator center here so i built this shape for you guys to to know to respect the ADA so most of you uh, all architects supposed to respect the ADA shape so in ADA part we don't do triangle so in the ADA part we don't do triangle instead we do a circle so we have to do a circle so again don't forget to respect that space to that space supposed to be five feet so again you have to respect that so we draw a circle the circle is for ada ada is um people with disability so we have to build the house for people with disability in case we got an accident and one of our family our family member hurt so they can work uh they cannot work so they they can use uh, the space and they will be able to move in the space easily so the diameter of the circle for ada is supposed to be 60 inches so that's the diameter for the circle to allow the wheelchair to turn to turn so yeah so there's another shape it's 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 called the uh, l shape yeah the l shape again you have to respect that yeah you have to respect the five feet so don't forget to respect the five feet and you put the cooking part here you put the sink part here you put the refrigerator here so yeah you put the refrigerator here this is the sink part and this is the cooking part so it, they they still gonna form the triangle so that form an iso cell triangle uh, as uh um they they can you can you can you can do it it's depend on the shape you got so but always draw the triangle always draw a respective triangle so a respective triangle gonna give you allow allow the space uh, allow people to move better in your kitchen layout so this is this guy so this is so lucky day. don't forget to give me a big thumbs up um see you to the next video